The Dutch Ukraine relations are now at their best. They are go as good as ever, and it's a statement of fact. This is not a diplomatic politeness that I brought with me today. <coughs> um, I came here with two main purposes. The first one is to thank the government, the parliament, and the people of the Netherlands for their leadership and support. When it comes to the supply of weapons to Ukraine, we see the leadership of the Netherlands. When it comes to imposing sanctions against Russia, we do see the leadership of the Netherlands. When it comes to the post-war reconstruction of Ukraine, we see the emerging leadership of the Netherlands. And I also had the opportunity to speak with Ukrainians who fled the war in your country, and they are grateful to the people of the Netherlands for the support they received. I was here in The Hague in 2016 on the eve of your referendum. And uh, I took a walk this morning from my hotel to the embassy. And I see two completely different perceptions of Ukraine and Ukrainians. Your country has uh, undergone through serious transition in the way you see us. And we, in the last three months, also changed our opinion to for, for the good because we saw the Netherlands standing by Ukraine, respecting Ukrainians and appreciating what Ukrainians are doing. So, thank you all. And please convey my words of gratitude to the Prime Minister Rutte, to, to other members of the Cabinet, to members of Parliament and to the people of the Netherlands. The second reason, the main reason uh, for my visit is uh, the last psychological barrier that we have together to overcome in our relations. It's the issue of granting Ukraine the status of the EU candidate. I would like to make it clear that we are not talking about immediate membership of Ukraine in the, uh, in the, United, in the European Union. We are talking about the legal and political recognition of the fact that Ukraine belongs to the big European family. In the last three months, we did hear statements from various EU leaders that Ukraine does belong with the, with, with the EU and we are part of Europe. The latest Eurobarometer polls show <coughs> that this is the opinion widely shared by the Dutch uh, public as well. At least 66% are convinced that Ukraine is part of the European family and 62% of the Dutch agree that uh, Ukraine should join the EU when it's ready. Membership is a, is a different conversation. We, have, we now are heading towards the moment when the decision of granting Ukraine the EU candidacy status will be considered and we count that the Dutch government will find <coughs> the way to support the sentiment and the feeling in the public opinion of the Netherlands um, and support this decision. And yes, what is right, we discussed uh, some other issues as well. I told my friend uh, and colleague that uh, for me the end of the war will be when the last soldier, Russian soldier withdraws from Ukraine, when Russia pays the last cent to compensate the damage inflicted on Ukraine and when the last Russian soldier or uh, uh, politician whom we can get will face international responsibility for the crimes committed in the territory of Ukraine during the war. So this is the triad of victory for me. And uh, the support of the Dutch government uh, to investigate this, to collect evidence, to investigate these cases, to, to, to provide the International Criminal Court with the capacity to consider these cases is uh, of utmost importance. Um, we, I want you to know only one number that uh, uh, I always keep on my mind. This number is changing, unfortunately my deepest regret. Um, 
229. 229 children in Ukraine died because of Russian bombs, shrapnel, and bullets. This Russian aggression tries to deprive Ukraine of the future, whether to uh, slow down our return to Europe, and it's a return, because centuries ago, we, you and us, we were, we did belong to one space. <clears throat> but also, they also try to deprive us of the future by killing our children or by forcibly deporting them to Russia. And this is the number that keeps me uh, driven, that drives me forward to fight for all the things that Wolfie and I discussed today. Because first, I do not want this number to grow. And second, I want every death to be avenged in a legal and military way. Ukraine wants peace. And we are ready to engage in a meaningful, balanced conversation with Russia. But Russia will have to pay for everything it has done. And I appreciate that the government of the Netherlands stands by us in sharing the need for Russia to bear responsibility for everything it has done. Last week in Kiev, um, and it is very good to now have him and continue our dialogue on each of these very pressing issues uh, that are so important for Ukraine, but also so important for safety, stability and security in Europe and the rest of the world. Before our meeting last week, I walked around in, in Irpin, where I witnessed the destruction with my own eyes. And if anything, it motivates me even more. It motivates the Dutch government and the Dutch people even more to continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with Ukraine and do what is necessary. And it implies helping Ukraine out with weapons, helping out Ukraine with sanctions, helping out Ukraine with humanitarian aid, and helping out Ukraine with harboring those who have fled the country and are looking for safety and security. Together, we will do whatever we can to help. We are committed to truth and we are committed to justice. And it's important that we do our utmost as an international community to help out here and to achieve justice for the victims of this terrible war. Ladies and gentlemen, as many of you know, the Netherlands also contributes to this effort with a forensic investigation team. And that team has arrived in Kiev uh, last weekend. They are deployed as part of the International Criminal Court team and they will assist to collect evidence. The evidence that is needed to make sure that crimes committed by Russian troops uh, are being uh, proven in court. And, we'll, and they will do so and they will continue to do so of course with the Ukrainian authorities. The Netherlands will continue to work to achieve that those responsible will be held to account and that justice will be done.